This video is about um, measuring head um, to estimate the head on a site. Um, you should use a number of methods. One is to use a contour map that you can get on the internet easily enough. Um, and uh, here I've marked out the pipe route and um, we can compare that between with the thousand meter distance between the grid lines uh, just by measuring it with a ruler. Can estimate the pipes about 330 meters long and the head from the contour lines would be about 110 meters. So that's one method. You need to have um, two or three different methods ideally. Here's another desktop method using um, Google Earth. Um, Google Earth has this path tool um, which you can set in this menu, um, the ruler menu, and uh, it also shows you the elevation of the cursor at any point um, down in this bottom right hand corner. So if we drag the path tool up the burn um, step by step, um, it creates the elevation profile in a box below. This shows the uh, elevation in meters and the length in meters and gives you all the information that you need, but it may not be very accurate. So it is quite important to also go on site. <clears throat> so I've got the um, Johnson pocket site level. Uh, it's got its level in the top and uh, the light shines through that. I can see that reflected when I look through this little slit here. So I'm going to look through the slit and and when I've got the level bubble exactly in the middle then the hairline will be pointing to a spot on the ground that's just at my eye level and then I'll go and stand on that and then I can repeat the process um, and each time I repeat the process the spot that I'm standing on will be one eye level higher than the previous one. Okay, um, and then the other way that we can do this is to use this clinometer on the phone. Um, it's not quite so accurate, I don't think, but it's free. Um, and uh, I'll just show you what I'm looking at. Um, we have to get the number down to zero, get the lines to line up. And, um, and it seems like it does that right about the edge of that shadow there. Needs a steadier hand than I've got. So then if I go and stand at the edge of the shadow there, that'll be my next point. So you obviously need to know what your eye level actually is. Um, and in my case, if I look at this, I'm standing up straight. My eye is on about 164 centimetres above the ground. Another trick, <clears throat> if the grass is very long, or if you have problems seeing what you're looking at, is to use a drum like this, and you can sight at the top of the drum. Um, so in that case, we need to consider my eye levels about 115 centimetres above the top of the drum. And uh, we can move the drum down the slope putting it where I stand, sighting back to it, and getting 115 centimetre drops.
So using these techniques is pretty accurate on a steep slope, um, but where the slope's more gradual you need to be quite careful um, because uh, obviously it's harder to see what you're doing. Also there can be um, built-in um, calibration problems with the device. So one thing that's worth checking is whether um, when you sight between two points, if one point seems level with the other looking one way, you should also go back the other way and check if it looks level the other way and that'll just calibrate your device and make sure that it's uh, sighting level. So I'm just going to do this. I found that the top of this gate is pretty much level with the fence post at the far end. It's very difficult to see um, because it's so dark but if I hold my hand over the sky suddenly everything brightens up and I'm able to see the screen quite clearly. I can see the line lining up with the top of the fence post at the far end. So uh, that's a good cross check, basically a calibration check on the um, on the clinometer or on the sight level um, to make sure that it is actually sighting level um, for long long runs where a bit of calibration error could lose you a significant amount of head or gain you a significant amount of head um, as a result of the error in the device. final method is to use a pressure gauge but you do need some pipe work for this and you can convert from for example KPA or bar to meters instead.